to talk about puppies this morning. I thought it might be appropriate. Um, I want to ask the question, why puppies? Why puppies? Well, there's some simple answers to that, aren't there? There's some simple answers. It's got to do with this man here, John McRae. And we all know what he did, don't we? Yes, we do, don't we? He wrote this poem in Flanders Field. And that's one of the reasons why the poppy became the, the emblem of remembrance in the 1920s. Because of John McRae's poem, In Flanders Field the Poppies Blow. And we saw that on the screen earlier on. So that's one reason why we have poppies now. But also, they, they do help us remember that sacrifice. It's a visible symbol because of the poppies that, that grew on the battlefields of the Somme and elsewhere in France and Belgium. That they became that visible reminder of what had happened. So it reminds us of the sacrifice of the soldiers, of the brave men and women who fought and died. on too quickly. But it also, it reminds us that actually the poppy gives life and hope to millions. The millions of pounds that are raised every year through the Royal British Legion poppy appeal gives life and hope to over 8 million people in this country. Because of their injury, their disability caused by acts of violence in the war, the families of those people. So the poppy is a symbol of life and hope to millions of people. And it's also a reminder, really, of the freedom that we enjoy. We can wear that poppy with pride and with freedom because of what has gone before. And I think that, that's, a, that's a good reason to wear a poppy, to have that symbol. All those four things there are really good reasons why the poppy is the perfect symbol. But I want to go a little bit deeper, just for a few moments, about the poppy itself. And the poppy is, the remembrance poppy there is a very simple four-part emblem. It's made up of four simple bits. But each one of those parts carries fantastic meaning. And what I want to do is to just draw out some of that meaning this morning to help us remember the poppy and the cost of the poppy and what it really means. Oh, that, that should have done something then, but it didn't. There we go. The first part I'd like to talk about is the stem. <coughs> the little green bit there that holds it at the back. Do you know what? The stem, life comes through the stem. Without the stem, there would be no life. There would be no life. And do you know what? Well, we've mentioned it already. Thousands of lives have been saved because of the sacrifice of a few. Millions of innocent children, women and men living their ordinary lives have been saved because of the sacrifice of soldiers and the bravery of soldiers. Life comes through that stem. And we can think about the sacrifice of those soldiers when we think about the stem. We can think about the freedom that's been gained because of their sacrifice. But you know, that symbolism doesn't just stop there. That's just one level. But there's a much deeper level. Do you know what? When we think about the stem of the poppy, we can think about Jesus. And we can think about Jesus giving us life. The life that we've got because of faith in Christ. His sacrifice gave us spiritual rebirth. A new life. Eternal life. A uh, a life that will go on in heaven. We've been saved from death. I think when we look at the poppy, we mustn't just think of the great sacrifice of those soldiers, important though it is. We need to think about the life that Jesus gives. So that's the stem. Then there's the leaf. The leaf. Well, 
The leaf is a symbol of growth, isn't it? And hope. When you see the new shoots and the new leaves coming out in springtime, we know it's a new season. We know that there's going to be something fresh coming up. A new beginning is happening. And the leaf is a symbol of that new beginning. The sacrifice of those soldiers led us into a new age. Peace in Europe, 70 years. Perhaps one day we will have no war. It's a symbol of that hope. That one day, maybe we can live in a world where people aren't wanting to kill each other. And wanting to take over each other's land. And dominate their uh, politics or their religion or whatever. That we can live together in peace. Wouldn't that be lovely? It would, wouldn't it? It would be great. And the, and the leaf is a symbol of that hope. That one day that might happen. Isaiah 2 that I read earlier out. Just brings that out. They'll beat their swords into plowshares. And their spears into pruning hooks. I wonder if we update that. They melt their tanks. Down into tractors. And the Kalashnikovs into spades. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah? And that's the hope of the future. And do you know what? Jesus brings us that hope. With hope, with Jesus in our lives, we have that hope. We can live that hope. A hope of a peaceful future. Not just in heaven, but as we live our lives for Jesus. We can bring that peace. We can bring that hope to other people. Jesus calls us to be peacemakers. In Matthew chapter 5 he calls us blessed when we are making peace. And we can do that every single day of our life in our relationships and in our interactions with other people. And that's a, a vital message I think that Jesus gives us. Remember that when we see the leaf on the poppy. And then there's the petals. The petals remind us of the blood of the fallen, don't they? A deep red, the blood of the fallen. They remind us of the suffering of those lost at war. Giving freedom to others. Sacrificing themselves to bring freedom to others. It's not a big leap here, is it? Of where I'm going. What a symbol. Jesus shed his blood for us. To give us freedom. Freedom from sin and death. No longer bound by my own badness. No longer under judgment by my, by, by my own sin. Jesus' blood has taken that away when he died on that cross. I'm free from it. I'm alive. Anyone else? Crikey. I think I'll give up and go home. Pink. Anyone else? Yes. yes. Good. I'm so pleased. We should be pleased too, shouldn't we? We're alive because of the blood of Christ, because of what Jesus did. Prepare to give his blood for us. And finally, finally, <coughs> The centerpiece that holds it all together. Without that centerpiece, it wouldn't be the poppy. It would just be different bits. We need that centerpiece. Do you know, it reminds me of a coin. And it reminds us that there's always a cost. And that we need to give still to ensure that people are cared for because they paid a price by being injured or killed, leaving their families behind, losing their livelihoods through injury in war. There's always a price. And the millions of pounds that are raised each year go towards repaying that cost that the soldiers gave to their families or their, to support with their injuries and, and rehabilitation. But it's not going to stop there, is it? Jesus. 
the cost for Jesus was leaving heaven, leaving his glory, leaving his rule, and coming to earth as a human being to live, to teach us, to die, to bring us life. What a cost. What a cost. Jesus' death on the cross. An incredible cost. So I'll just finish by saying, lest we forget, that's the, the symbol, isn't it? That's the phrase. Lest we forget. When we see that poppy, we remember the cost of the lives of the soldiers in all the conflicts that have happened this century. Last century, big part. But also, lest we forget, Jesus brings us new life and eternal life. Jesus brings us hope and peace. Jesus' blood bought us freedom from sin. And Jesus paid the highest price for you. For you. Each one of you here and me, each one of us out there. And my challenge for you this morning is what are you going to do? How are you going to pay back? Going to buy a poppy? Or are you going to say, yes, Jesus? Thank you for what you have done for me. I want to live for you. The choice is yours. Jesus paid that highest price for you. What's your reaction to that? Let's pray.